I'd like to show you a pair of games played between AlphaZero and Stockfish, these two chess machines, that started from the same opening position. So they played one game and then they reversed the colours. And I think this gives us a really good chance to see how they differ in their styles. And we can see very clearly their strengths and weaknesses. So this is the position we, that the machines were presented with. Remember, the DeepMind team wanted to test AlphaZero and Stockfish over a range of, of, of terrain, you could say, with an opening book, uh, without an opening book, um, and with set positions as well. And this position was taken from the Chess Engine World Championships as one of the set positions they used. Uh, so let me go from the very beginning and we'll just put it in context. So Stockfish was white in this game and it's a Slav. So black occupies the center, it's very solid, and e6. Now bishop g5 is possible but e3. Queen c2, this is a very standard move, perhaps preparing to castle on the queen side. And now g4, and this continuation has become very, very popular over the past, well, 20 years. Uh, if that's taken, then, then the rook comes to g1 and can take down there. So this is sort of the antidote. Supposedly, black is going to knock out that knight on c3 and give the knight on f6 a square on e4. But I repeat, these moves were not played um, independently by the machines. This line was presented to them. And this is the position they started at, bishop e1. So the game started here. Actually, bishop e1, I should say, is a very ambitious move. Obviously, keeping this important dark square bishop, it has no opponent. Uh, you could say uh, an, a more natural move in some ways is to play bishop d3, as Nakamura has played, for example. But after this exchange, white, of course, has freer development than we're going to see in the game. Uh, but having grabbed that bishop, it's not so bad for black. So bishop e1 is a, a very ambitious move, keeping this important dot squared bishop, but having to step back for a moment. So Alpha Zero with black already on this move plays a really ambitious move, trying to grab the initiative. It plays b5, as we'll see in the next game. Uh, Stockfish played b6 here, but b5 is really ambitious. So already giving up a pawn for activity. And here, for example, bishop b7, very simply, and the rook comes over. And rook takes c6. So for a pawn, black has managed to open lines on the queen side. This rook is ready to swing across the board to one of these squares to attack the king. And, well, white's kingside initiative really is going nowhere at the moment. So absolutely typical of alpha zero that it wants to uh, gain the initiative, go on the attack from a very early stage. So understandably, stockfish just closed the position with c5 and that leaves this bishop looking yeah not not great on c8 therefore a5 by alpha zero looking perhaps to to bring this bishop into the game like this but also trying to start an attack on the queen side h4 stockfish gets going on the king side so things are getting very interesting and now g5 okay Looks like white is just continuing with this pawn storm, fair enough. But as we're going to see, there's another idea that Stockfish has. f5 played by alpha zero, and this has a very specific idea in mind. It's possible just to take this. I just wonder whether, with colors reversed, alpha zero might have played this with white, because it does open up lines and can see the rook on the semi-open file. Um, it's just a very unclear position. Of course, black wants to break with e5 as well. b6, 
But instead, Stockfish plays a very materialistic move. Knight h2. So the knight goes backwards. But the idea, of course, is to play f3 to attack the knight. And because the pawn has come to g5 and this pawn came to c5, you can see the black knight has no square to go to. Of course, Alpha Zero would have foreseen this. And what it's doing is it's just trying to get as much activity as possible. So after f3, it simply gives up the knight in the middle, grabs a pawn. So this is pretty extraordinary, absolutely typical. So it's at least managed to establish a really big center for this. It's possible to take on c5 here. So you can see that how alpha zero really values activity. Whereas if you look at Stockfish's pieces, well, they're you know all on the back rank, of course, not so serious with the rooks and the bishops. Uh, but that knight on h2 doesn't really have a move at the moment. And it's possible to play like this with black, actually. Um, black has two pawns, big center. I mean, objectively, I'm sure white is better. You know, this bishop might come into play here. Um, but it's, it's pretty unclear. But it's interesting, Alpha Zero chose a different way to attack. Rook b8. Now, the idea is, well, let me sort of make a pass move with white. If king b1, then the queen side starts to open like this. This is clearly its idea, and then can take on b3, and we're getting closer to white's king. So that's why after rook b8, b3 was played to block that pawn. But alpha zero has seen that it's still possible to open up lines, and this is extremely dangerous. So let me just go on a few moves. I think these next moves are pretty natural. Knight c5. Stockfish hurries to get back that pawn. The knight is attacked, moves back to e6, and queen takes c6. And now it's only one pawn for a piece, and d5 is threatened. And the queen is kind of going on the rampage, uh, away from the rest of its pieces, and you can see this knight still not great. These pieces not doing a lot at the moment. Such a contrast between the two positions. Rook d8 covers the d-pawn. Rook g2, yeah, finally. About time one of these pieces got into play. King h8. <clears throat> Rook swings across to attack the d-pawn, d4. And alpha zero's pieces spring to life. Attacking the queen again. And knight takes d4. Well, let's just pause for a moment there and just sort of take in what's happened over the last few moves. So alpha zero is still a piece down, has only one pawn for that piece. But it must have foreseen earlier that it could reach this position and just thought, well, active pieces, white's king is a little bit exposed, black's king, of course, is very snug in the corner, whereas white's king's exposed. Um, and to remember, alpha zero goes on percentages. It has past experience with positions where it has a safe king and the opposition has a king which is loose and just and, and it has active pieces and thinks, well, I have a decent chance of something happening. Whereas if you look at the way Stockfish would be thinking, which is basically brute force, it calculates if A, then B, then C, then D, and goes very, very deeply into the position and then evaluates it and then assesses which of those positions it's calculated is, is the best. And it must have simply calculated that, well, it has a material advantage and it probably just couldn't see that there is a way forward for black in this position. So whose judgment was better? Was it Alpha Zero's feeling that it's going to have chances here? Or was it stock, Stockfish and its depth of calculation? Bishop F2, that's a good start by Stockfish. 
and well, uh, Alpha Zero switches to the A file. But Stockfish has worked out that it's possible to kill the play on the A file with Bishop B5. And after this, I mean, this is very scary because Black's Queen has the possibility to come into a play like this. But again, a bit of cal calculation from Stockfish. King B1 and after Queen E5, the bishop sits on a4 not a not a beautiful position but it does block the rook on the a file so there's no uh, mate down here queen f4 by alpha zero still trying to stir things up a little bit h5 well that's a very cool move basically stockfish has obviously foreseen that there's not a lot going on in this position and would even like to play h6 to open up black's king and that's when things start to get serious serious counterplay yeah and at the moment you can see black's pieces are just blocked out of the attack having dragged the queen away now it can see that it, it, it's possible to take on uh, d3 without allowing a, a bishop e4 and, and a pin there even when the, the queen recaptured so everything is safe and stockfish is a piece up and over the next few moves simply consolidates with some careful moves but well for stockfish no emotion um, it just sees that it can actually defend very easily here this knight is still very ugly, and I guess that's the key to this position, that once that knight enters the game, then basically it, it will have consolidated. And you can see that bishop does a very good job of controlling e8, so there's no rook can come down here. And after this, well, the operators stop the game. Um, Alpha Zero resigned, or its operat operators resigned in this position. Stockfish with white is a clear piece up. This bishop is attacked. And black's attack has come to nothing. You can see white has managed to block everything out beautifully. So the game might go bishop e6, and then let's say f4. It's also possible to play knight g4 immediately, actually, but f4 is a nice solid move. Followed by knight f3, and the knight comes into play on e5, and then white really is winning. Black has no attack, and white is a piece up and has consolidated beautifully. So I, I think that was very interesting. You can see this position, I think, is a, a great illustration of the two styles. Stockfish has grabbed material, doesn't mind suffering for a few moves because it's calculated very deeply and realised actually that black doesn't have enough play. Alpha Zero simply thought, this is my best chance. And I can tell you, as a human, if I'd been playing white here and my opponent suddenly had all this activity and beautiful coordination as well, that's the other thing you notice about Alpha Zero's play. It coordinates his pieces so well. I'd have been very scared with white. <laughs> Not so easy to calculate this as a, as a human when you know you're under pressure at the board. But Stockfish had actually worked out that it's doing very well here. So in the next video, what I'd like to do is show you what happened when the colours were reversed and Alpha Zero played with white from this position. Let's see if it managed to do as well with white, but also um, we're going to see very different styles between the two machines again. And in the next game, as we're about to see, Stockfish played b6 rather than b5, a more modest move. And let's see how Alpha Zero managed to play against that one.